So, with our two new encounters here, we're gonna throw those two in to see what they are. Uh, off camera, I uh, kind of unlocked some things. I got another shard com uh, set completed, finished off Light of Truth, the Frontier Bar Boot, and the Blunderbuss, uh, as well as. I didn't feel like this was necessary to have all in in the video. 10 out of 15 on the peeler, which is much closer. 7 out of 12 on the, the uh, wind's return on mages. Oh, it's been a long off-camera session. Felvin's favor, we're at 16 out of 75 wheel gamuts. That's going to take forever. Uh, Mask of Holy Fortune, 5 out of 30. Finished off Mask of the Exile, which was really easy. Lord Diadem, we just finished moments ago. Off camera. So yeah, we got some interesting ones at this point. Yeah, and the new shard completion that I got uh, up our starting fame from 5 to 10 as a uh, starting supplies. Buy equipment. Hey, the Cetic Sting. Aim and throw a weapon that causes long freeze and bleed to a single target. Every two reposts increases weapon charge by plus one. Hits increase during a combo. Reposts to stun enemy counterattacks. Weaken against weak against enemies with high defense. Activate your weapon ability twelve times to unlock this token. Well, that's gonna be easy. Now that I've found out what it does, I can easily go do that. On or off camera. The new stuff I wanted to steer clear of, so I was just going through some of the other levels, and there was a lot to do. Iron Peak Necropolis. Yeah, we're four. We're on the fourth shard. You attend to the request for an armed mercenary put forward by the Goldwell family, a name once respected in the town of Iron Peak. On reaching the dilapidated manor, you are presented to a small, aging woman flanked by three men. I'll get straight to the point, Mrs. Goldwell says with few formalities. Even ever since my father's death, in a back alley behind Iron Peak's most notorious tavern, our family has faced one ill turn of fate after another. He was entombed with his lucky Cetic Sting, a family heirloom that should have been passed to Will, my oldest son. Aunt Gertrude knew it was to be mine, one of the men exclaims. Yeah, now I have it. How'd that happen? The fate of our family, Mrs. Goldwell declares firmly, rests upon returning my father's Cetic Sting from the Iron Peak Necropolis. My father was also put to rest with a significant amount of coin. It is yours as payment if you ain't. I have it! Go with the Goldwell brothers to the Necropolis? I'm gonna go by myself. Tell the Coldwells you will consider the matter as you have leave to inspect the Necropolis personally. The journey from the Goldwell's home to the Iron Peak Necropolis is brief. You quickly locate the tomb of Alfred Goldwell amid the uh, looming statues of long-dead Iron Peak nobility. Pushing open the door, you feel the cold fingers of a dark power grasp your heart. I have the blades already! Ire of the dead. To our random curse before every combat, discard it afterwards. Lovely. Haha. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Ogre, Blight, and Blight Crystal. Great. A fantastic set of enemies to have to deal with. Get in line. These heads are lost. You need to fucking stop with this garbage. Time to die. Yeah, no. I don't like 
this one. So much. Kill him for me. Got him. Stupid ogre. Took almost all my health, but I did it. You enter the tomb alone and find the Goldwell family's prize heirloom resting upon a gilded casket. Illness can be power in the right circumstances. Yeah. You also empty a small coffer of coins and leave the cemetery. Small is right. You pause at the gates and consider your uh, to consider your destination. Return to the Goldwell family, of course. Mrs. Goldwell is happy to see you return with her family's prized heirloom. Ooh. Give back the family heirloom and the recovered gold. Give back the family heirloom or demand more gold in exchange. I will give back both. You will long be remembered in our hearts for your generosity, Mrs. Goldwell cries as you give her the gold and family heirloom. Game for fame and the shard. That was the important thing. And so technology uh -huh. marches on. Sadly. Interesting. Fillion leans against a workbench, a deconstructed pistol laid out before her. She runs a narrow brush down the barrel and clucks her tongue disapprovingly. Good heavens! Another visit from Keturah twice in one week. Am I dying? The old woman laughs at her own joke. These tokens represent the expansion of the game. More options, more cards, more opportunities. No shit, dealer. Welcome to, like, 60 episodes in. Katura slides a pouch swollen with gold across the counter and nods at Fillion. Fillion weighs the gold in her hands. This is a lot of coin, Ket. Enough coin to buy a little plot of land and hang up your hat if you were so inclined. Katura shakes her head and points at a rifle in, in a glass cabinet. Bring me the grand dame. As Fillion unlocks the cabinet, she whispers to herself, I guess you're not so inclined then. Katura grunts and inspects the rifle's repeating mechanism. Ooh. That's our latest model. Higher capacity, faster reload, perfect balance, just how you like it, says Fillion, leaning against the counter, and the rounds will keep him hurting the boot. Couture's combat ability now causes bleed. Well done. Sweet! You've done a service for the city, Ket. It might not mean anything to you, but I won't forget it. Iron Peak Ballistics will always do right by you. Katura receives a discount at Iron Peak Ballistics. Fillion smile warms, or smiles warmly. So how can I help you today? Buy ballistic weapons, no crossbows or granite effects in the, yeah. Restock crossbow bolts, buy specialty equipment. Ooh, after something in particular, you know, there isn't a beast alive I haven't hunted at some point in my career. Quite a few beasts not alive as a result of it, too. <gasps> mages, shadow beasts, ogres, undead mages. Mages, frivolous people, everyone. Where's the sense in wearing floor-length robes if you're going to spend so much time in swamps and ruins? It's asking for trouble and for expensive cleaning bills. Anyway, she adds, I believe I kept a little something from the last time I dealt with one of their ilk. Thunderbolt. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. If this doesn't do the job, I don't know what will. And you won't be able to complain about it because you'll be dead. Just joking, friend. Buy the item. Fillion winks conspiratorially. It's nice to see someone helping out, dear old cat. I hope she treats you well. Oh, thank you to keep that far away from me. Because you're a mage. And I will leave. What happens now, Katura? The world has not changed. Fools will forever find a price on their head. They'll find me waiting to collect. The old bounty hunter pushes her way out the door. Katura can now accept named bounties from the campfire for improved rewards. Fillion grabs your arm as you follow. You take good care of her and do not come back again. I'm always happy to... Er, I do come back again. I'm always happy to chat about the good old days. I, she didn't seem right for a minute there. I can't camp in this level. Fuck. Cartographer! Sure! 
All right, let's see Katura's new ability. Ring the bell. Get the soldiers to fight alongside me. Try and rouse them with my speech. Failed miserably at it. Let's see what Katura can do. cares about the terror of West, but we faced it a million fucking times. I don't give a damn about it. Show me Katura, you dumb fucks. It's the one thing, one of the things I hate about this game is that it does shit like that. Where it's like, here, here's this new thing, but we're not gonna actually show it to you, because here's this thing that we're programmed in to show you over and over and over and over again. Of my way. Ooh, I like her ability though. Let's see what she's got a shard on her. I see. We'll see what all that is. All right, but. For Katura's eternal quest, the haunted, locked and loaded. Interesting. All right. Well, let's see here. Uh, we're gonna need to go someplace where we can get some fame. Always a good one. The Empress. Cat. Complete five name bounties in a single endless adventures attempt to unlock the shard. Well, that's bullshit. I don't want to go into endless adventures in order to do this. Thomas the Ogre, get rid of all those. Get rid of that. And that. There we go. Find the Katura. Yeah. <laughs> Until she finds her daughter's killer, she will not rest. She will not die. When activated, Katura fires her back holstered weapon and causes bleed to enemies in range. Stay close to charge her ability faster. Yes, so please. Shh, you missed with the first two shots, Sarah Cat. You only hit like one of those shots. One out of five of your shots there. Learn how to aim better, woman. Yes. Equipment. Felvin's favor. Damn it. I didn't want Felvin's favor. I wanted my goddamn blades. Thank you. Buy equipment. Sedic sting or sedic? Yeah, sedic sting. Activate the weapon ability and the weapon ability. Throw a weapon that causes. Fr okay. Sure. Another general store. Thanks. So useful. Ass hats. Are you fucking kidding me? Here's all the general stores. Morons. Shuffle these cards better next time, you ass hats. Three general stores, one fucking level. Worthless. That should not be fucking possible to put that many on one fucking level. It's asinine. Yes, one-handed weapons are more useful, but I need to use the Cetix stingers to get the abilities. We're just not gonna use Katura. Just not gonna do it. 
Just gonna work on using the ooh. Look at him. Curvy and purple. The blades are purple. It is in the scorpion's nature to sting. That it is. Throw that one at you. Throw that one at you. Come on, boys. This does up my... That was like three of them. There, I think. Maybe. Did I do it? Did I one? Yeah, yeah, Morton's door. Five northerners, damn it. So, I mean, guarding or reposting. Not reposting, but. Fucker! That's a close one. Okay. We're just cutting through these fuckers with our abilities. How many times have I used my ability now? A lot, I think. Yeah, I'll claim the bounty. No, I will keep the gold, thank you. Search for spoils. Not that I need any. Let's go for that food. Seven out of twelve? Come, come on! Unimpressed farmer. Well, he's not gonna be impressed by me because I don't have 30 fame. The maiden! Ask for longer life. Nope, I'll keep the help tonic, thank you. Gonna keep it, thank you. Doing just fine on health and everything. I'll leave him a B, because not gonna help me any. The duel! This won't be very useful, but I'll accept the duel anyways. Oh boy, if I could use the ability on this guy five times, he's just a duel, him and me. If I can use my throwing knives on him five times in a row before beating him in this duel, Let me just throw this at you. That's two. There's three. Four. And five. <laughs> Just to keep it up. Might as well. I think I got my token. Just, just a hunch. I better have. Thank you. Set sting. Well equipped. Okay. What is that achievement for? I wonder. Is that, is that all equipment cards? 
That might be all equipment cards. I'm not sure, though. Hi, Kobe. We're gonna go straight for the shaman. You take on all the northerners, I'll take on their leader. We work together, and I'll... Well, we'll, we'll, we'll kill her. It's that simple. She'll be dead. And the rest will back down. Oh, she's so screwed. Gerda, you are dead. You just don't know it yet. Stand clear of my blades. I stand clear of yours. No, Gerda. Ow. I love these blades, they're fantastic! They might just be my favorite weapons up yet. Alright, we won. And our token. For pinning your foes with the scorpion's sting. Sedic's wrath. Ooh, even better! Well, now we gotta get that damn shard!